All right, working on the IMT 560. I got the loader off. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I thought I just had some leaking radiator hoses or coolant hoses. Come to find out, yes, the loader does come off. Uh, this loader was on my 275 first, and uh, this hole right here, so this saddle plate goes underneath the transmission, this was moved back. That was the only difference. The bolt holes underneath the clutch for this saddle were the same. Uh, all these mounting tabs here. Or just a little bit different, a little bit off, but just a little bit of work. And that fit this loader on here. I forget what brand it is, but it come on the tractor when I got it. And, uh, yeah, I put it on this tractor. But, yeah. So, come to find out, the water pump was leaking out of the weep hole. Actually, that one is that's the lower we pull. Yeah, that's the upper lower. And uh, I got it apart, but not before. Yeah, well, and it doesn't have a seal on it. Those have a call them a fabric seal or so nothing too fancy. But looking around at stuff, I've looked at these tractors quite a bit. Somebody said, let's see if this will come in. No, it won't. No. Right there it says Massey Ferguson and the symbol. I probably won't see that. And then that's IMT. But this is the 560 Deluxe model. And I've heard that there's a lot of the same parts, Ferguson parts on these. And if you look at, went down to the Ferguson dealer, that part number gonna show up. This is a high capacity water pump with a pulley. And that part number fits a Perkins Two oh three motor. And they put the two oh three in a lot of things. I found something online, somebody said that a Massey one sixty five has the same motor as this tractor. I thought, well, I'll look into it, and sure enough, this is the spacer. It goes, oh, I can take that over. But if you cross-reference that number to what motors it'll fit for a Perkins 203, they made the AD for, there's a couple different varieties. I don't know about all of the varieties, but they had this one. And come in oh there we go yep so I already checked the gasket the gasket's the same this there's a few differences but nothing that ain't gonna work of course I got to cut that bolt off camera strap and the back side of this water pump housing is shaped a little bit different because this water pump just moves a suction and a or a suction and then it goes out there's no contact with the front of the motor this water pump takes this backing plate so I'll have to shave this down and then that'll have enough clearance with the gasket for this backing plate to go on there and this spacer was for 
to space the fan closer to the radiator. And these holes are SAE, not metric. The water, or the, yeah. Of course, this one was for that. These are metric. So I have to get some standard bolts. But, I got a water pump here in the States from my local dealer. So, so far, I don't know what other parts of winter change. Uh, years ago, before I started recording anything, this is an aftermarket starter from something. I don't remember what. Has the same bolt pattern, has the same nose cone, the same gear, everything. And that's not a factory starter. For, I don't remember what it's for. I'd have to do a lot of digging, but... So I found that starter, too. I don't know what else is the same, but... I'll throw this in the video too because I probably won't write it down and is that gonna show up? The fan belt. 13 AV 1170. It's a good good year. Yeah. 